Why do women have orgasms? It's a question that's baffled us for centuries. But now a pioneering team of scientists is searching for answers in a more intimate way than ever before. Start stimulation. It's a challenging task, so they've enlisted the help of a very brave volunteer. Inside this MRI machine, she's about to give herself an orgasm in the name of science. But it's a task that can't be rushed. So she's been uh, applying self-stimulation for over 10 minutes now. So far, our subject scan has little to show for all her effort. Uh, sex research can actually be quite boring, you know, nothing, nothing happening. The only activity is in the sensory cortex. It's here that we receive the feeling of genital stimulation. Little else seems to be happening. But then, a telltale change, which signals an impending climax. Should be coming around to uh, blast off, I would suspect so. <laughs> Deep inside the brain, the hippocampus ignites. This is the place where emotions and long-term memories form. Now the brain is really heating up. Just seconds to go. Hands up. The subject gives the hand signal. Orgasm has begun. Neuronal fireworks explode across the fMRI. Motor areas like the cerebellum surge with activity as muscles tense and release. Then, the brain's pleasure and addiction center, the nucleus accumbens, ignites. 30 different areas of the brain light up. Maggie Gyllenhaal talks to the experts to explore why is sex fun this Sunday at 8, only on Discovery.